Hello everyone. This video we're going to talk about how to connect the PoE switch with a PoE MVR. Well, the PoE switch power over the over Ethernet switch. You can tell by its name it has power over the Ethernet cable, so it can send both power and data. And this big one down here is the NVR network video recorder. From their names, we can tell we have a switch and a recorder. That's like half a PoE IP camera system. So let's just throw in some IP cameras and make it a whole system. And I'll tell you guys what the PoE switch and the NVR plays in the IP camera system. Well, the PoE switch here, we can take a look. There are plenty of ports in the front panel. And if you take a closer look, there's a gap here, dividing these ports into two groups. These two ports right here don't send power, they only send data. We usually use them to connect to our <clears throat> main network system. And you can connect, also connect it to an NVR. <clears throat> Since I brought up NVR, let's take a look at the NVR. The NVR network recording video recorder can record the videos that are currently seen on the IP cameras. The IP cameras send out digital video, video signals so they can just record it on the hard drive. And how would we connect our IP cameras? Well, it's pretty simple as well. Let's take a look back to our PoE switch. The other ports on the other group, these are all PoE ports. They can transmit both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. So all we have to do is connect the camera with these ports with one single Ethernet cable. Now before we set up the whole system, let's make sure we have everything we need. A PoE switch, an NVR, two power supply cords, and two Ethernet cables. One to connect the PoE switch to the camera, one connect PoE switch to the NVR. And we also have an IP camera right here, we'll connect it to it later. Now first, the power supplies are all built inside, so we just have to connect the devices to the alternating current outlet. Do that. And then, I'll connect the NVR with the PoE switch. See, it's the uplink port to the NVR. Now, I'm going to connect the PoE switch to our IP camera. Just some easy plug-ins and this whole process will be over. Let's just wait for a second for it all to run up. After we set up the whole system, the indicators are blinking. That means the system is running properly. But we still have no, vi uh, if we want to have like a visual of the camera, we have to use a VGA or HDMI to connect to the NVR. Then we can watch the live feed. Now the NVGA is connected in. Just wait for a little sec to see if the image pops up. Now I'm going to use a mice, use this mouse to select our camera. You can see the clock is ticking on our camera. That means it's a live feed from the camera. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them at the section below. See you guys next time. Goodbye.